Dude, this is exciting. Here we go. We got three, two, one, go! Wee! All right, and here they go. The runners are going to start. We're going to start off with Scar Faces Audio. He does a World 1 bump right away off the scratch. Let's see how these guys handle their nerves in the first level. They're going for the standard pipe rub, which I agree is probably the best and the most safest thing that you can do here. <clears throat> They're both going into the clouds. Boom, hitting those turtles, and they are on their way. That is so good. Let's get a little bit more. What is this? Uh, compressed audio here. There we go. Sounding good now. All right, Scarface in the lead right now with a little bit of time. While these guys are dancing around in the second level, what do we got over here in the points, guys? What do we got? In World 1, we're looking at the first frame jump with the Hammer Brother, and we are also looking at staying ducking on the airship. So that's a... It's gonna be a little stressful. It's gonna be a little stressful for our runners. So we're, we're gonna see how they we're gonna see how they hold up. They both have stars in their in their card slots, so this could be a little scary. You do not want to see early fanfares, and you don't want to see early coin chips. That'll be that'll be really bad. KLM not clutching out. The leaf grab, but that's okay because Scarface did sacrifice some time getting the leaf in 1-2. Alright, here we go. We're going for the tunnel level. I don't expect to see any tunnels. It's not really a worth it kind of trick. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see what kind of points these guys can get. See if we get fanfares. Scarface not going for the tunnel. Let's see if KLM goes for the meme tunnel. Doesn't rebuild P-Speed. Looks like he's not going to be able to go for it. Neither of our runners get their head stuck in the ceiling, though, so that's gonna be really good, man. That There's nothing worse than getting your head stuck in the ceiling, so... You get your head stuck in the ceiling, you take damage from the Piranha Plant, then you have to waste time in this next level. Alright, P-Speed in this level can be a very tricky-dicky, and it looks like Scarface is set up pretty nicely. Almost missed the turtle, but not quite, man. He managed to nail it, and he gets the start, and he is out of World 1. Let's see how these routes are going to work here. I don't know if these guys are going to go for Mushroom House. I don't know what's going to happen here, so let's see. Does not get the first frame jump. That is unfortunate for Scarface. This is a good opportunity for KLM to get a lead right away. Let's see if KLM gets the first frame jump. He's going to go for the Mushroom House first. Does he get the Fire Flower, though? Does he get it? Right away. Oh, he does not get the Fire Flower. That's very unfortunate. If Scarface doesn't go for any Mushroom Houses, that's going to be a time loss for KLM right away. And he does not get the first frame jump either. Not the most amazing start here. So let's see how these guys are going to do it. We got Scarface doing the duck on the airship. I heard Caleb say earlier he might not go for this. So this could be a massive point lead for Scarface if he gets this. It looks like he's doing pretty good. He's not doing any peeking. He's not doing any peeking. This is a little bit more stressful than you thought, right? Is he going to get the fire flower? That's going to be that's hard to get, man. KLM is not going to go for the ducking strat. Okay, this could be interesting. KLM's got to hope and pray that if Scarface does go for this, he messes it up. But I have not seen him peek at all. He almost took damage. And he is in there. Scarface gets the duck ship. That is going to be pretty big right here in the early game already. These runners have already started off really strong with everything that's going on. Wow. Very nicely done on Scarface's side. That's actually incredible. Actually incredible, man. That's not an easy point. He's gonna make Kalem work a little bit harder for these points. Kalem going for the fire kill. He does get it. Thank goodness. It is. It has been done. And he's not too far behind. I'd say he's about maybe 10 seconds. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how this goes here, though. Ooh, Scarface getting his overworld bumps out of the way early, man. We don't want to see those late game bumps in World 5. That'll cost you the points. Making good work of 2-1. Remember, after 2-1, there's always a guaranteed movement of 2. So this could be good for our opponents. We'll see if they get all movements of 2 in World 2. Are they going to go for the sun? Are they not going to go for the sun? Let's see what happens here. Alright, moving to KLM's turn. 
at the big bad beast of 2-1. See how it goes, Scarface with a nice slide strat. Ooh, he does not want to get that leaf. That's going to cost him some time. And KLM doing very nice peace speed strategies in 2-1. Killing it. Swag duck jumps. Not taking damage. Boom, getting the card. Doesn't have to worry. Scarface giving a window for KLM to catch up a little bit. This is nice. It's going to be good for them. They both get really good movements of two, man. The Hammer Brother moving to the right means a lot of movements of two are coming up. This could be really good. <clears throat> That's right, another movement of two. And you see KLM did not make the same mistake, so he definitely caught up here. Scarface going for the casual early P-Speed strategy. I do like that early P-Speed. It's, uh, it's a way to set you up for the rest of the level without the stress of the hard early P-Speed. About maybe a one or two second time loss. But, I mean, it works because you got P-Speed through the whole level. KLM with another movement of two as well. KLM not going to go for it. Oh, almost gets the early, early P-Speed, but not sacrificing the time for that early. But he doesn't, he doesn't connect the P-Speed later in the bottom section. So, he's going to have to go the slow Joe at the top here. But he is going to build it right here. Going to be nice. There you go. He is in the spike room. Scarface also getting another movement of two here. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, watch out for the fire snake. But he is okay. Kalem going for the fire kill. He got it, man. He's got it. All right, mate. Ooh, going for the danger strat. Okay, he's not going to do... All right, all right. He's not going to do the, the fast uh, shell stomp, which is pretty good. Kalem getting another movement of two right there. Ooh, Scarface trying to get the fire flowers the first card. Not going to be able to connect that, but that's okay. There's lots of levels left. Lots of cards left. Very exciting. Another movement of two on Scarface's side. Is this going to happen, man? And the amount of movements of two that we've seen in World 2 is it's just blown my mind in this tournament. KLM follows up nicely behind Scarface in level 3. Almost KLM trying to get it as well. And Scarface getting the... Whoa! What? The screen wrap sun in the sand pit. KLM going for the music box from World 2. That's okay. He needs it. Might help him later in the run. Uh, Scarface a little, little fuzzled here. What's he trying to do? Does he need Mushroom House? Does he want to go for this level? Might not be able to connect another movement to two here. Slows down a little bit. That's okay. KLM, I think he said, was not going to go for the Sun Kills either. The Sun Kills means you're going to have to get that Hammer Suit later in the run. So I think KLM's going to want to go for some speed here. And hopefully he gets some of those RNG points. And they doesn't have to stress too much. Scarface, another movement of two, and he's going to get one more movement of two after this level. Is he actually going to get all movements of two? Meanwhile, KLM just getting a movement of one. He's not going to be able to get that movement of two. This could be huge for Scarface as well. Scarface getting the sun. KLM not going for the sun. There's a big difference in trying for the sun and not getting it and, and choosing not to go for the sun, and he's choosing not to go for it. Scarface not getting the fire flower in the mushroom house. Not connecting. He's going to go back down. He's got one last chance for a movement of two here. Scarface, if he gets this, that'll be big for him with points. That will be big for him with points. But KLM, KLM's catching up. Okay, he's catching up with time a little bit here, and he's going to try for some of those RNG points. Ooh, you see right here. Look at that. They're in the same level. Scarface has to respawn the beetle. KLM is very close behind him right now. KLM doesn't make a mistake like that. He just gained a good chunk of seconds ahead of him. Uh, phasing right through that block on KLM's side. He's been here before. This is not his first time. All right. Making his way through. He made a little bit, of the, made a little bit of the same error. Oh, and Scarface does not get that movement of two. And that is good for KLM. KLM saving time and saving points in ways that he doesn't even know. So let's see, let's see if he gets the flower here on KLM's side. That would be big for him. Oh, he gets the star though. There's nothing worse than doing a huge turn back and still getting a star. I've actually gotten fanfares from doing that. It's super annoying. All right, these runners are super close. Scarface was unable to get a much bigger lead on KLM. Two points we've seen before, guys. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Right. <clears throat> Now's a good time. These guys are both on the honor scroll at the same time. A great time to check out Twitch chat and see how you guys are doing. All right.
always pirate as useful. As long as you guys are having a good October, that's what it's all about. Wee! Boom! Right on. Scarface is going to finish the first one right away. Uh, check the rules. Uh, check the rules. Z Wider. You have to kill both sons to get the points. He just got the first son. The next son is in World 8. KLM going for the fire kill and the boss. You see, KLM phased right through the blocks there, whereas the boss phased right through his fireballs. And that is just how Mario 3 works. It's SMB phase. SMB phase. I, hope, I, I want to hope that neither of our runners are getting too fuzzled here with some of the mistakes they're making. They're not that big mistakes, so luckily these guys can uh, can pull it through, get get some points, and see what kind of game two we'll have. I mean, it's very early, very very early in these races, so lots of room here, lots of room. All right, very casual three one. There's not much else for you to do in this level. It's just a straight shot P speed. Let's see if KLM goes for the backup Fire Flower in 3-1 or in 3-2. Either level works just fine. Getting the frame perfect jump in 3-1. If only this was season one, he would have got that point. Very unfortunate. All right, movement of one here on Scarface's side. He's not going to go for the very hard P-Speed strategy. I don't blame him. KLM is going to go for the P-Speed keep. Wow, that's really nice. That's hard to do. Scarface falling in the water, which is how this strat norm... Ooh, taking damage there too. That's not how the strat normally works, so hopefully he can clutch it out. He's almost at 33 coins. Very scary for coin ship. Kalem not quite at the coin ship, though, so he's looking pretty good. All right. A ha a kind of a good movement on Kalem's side. Not the best movement, though. You really want that Hammer Brother to move down right away. Um, kind of like what happened with Scarface here. Kalem not making the same mistake, so Kalem is just constantly catching up to Scarface right here. Scarface not being able to connect... P speed here in 3-3, three, three. but luckily he's gonna get coins because he's very close to that coin ship. Oh, almost gets eaten, and KLM makes his way through 3-2. That's one of the scariest levels in World 3. Once you get past him without dying or taking damage or any of the sort, you feel pretty comfortable. Alright, Scarface is in a good spot here because he's got four, four digit on his tens, and he's got 42, so he does not have to worry about coin ship, but he doesn't get a fire flower here. All right, here it is. Door three, the first point that these guys can get in world three, and let's see if he gets it. Door three, misses the door. Does not get door three. This could be huge if KLM doesn't even go for it. He can make mad time. KLM also gets the fire flower as his first card. Here's his opportunity to get a star and a mushroom. Also, not having to worry too much about Runaway Bro in this instance. This is amazing. Let's see how KLM does. Does he go for door three? He does go for door three. He does not get door three. This is insane right now. Both runners try to go for door three. Neither of them getting it. That would have been huge for KLM. And Scarface gets Runaway Bro. How is this going to work? How is this going to work? So if Scarface has been studying and practicing, he will know that after this level, if he goes back and gets the hammer, he gets the special tile. He will get the special tile. So what's he going to do, guys? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Let's see a KLM side. Ooh, KLM's on a scare here. He's going to go for this hammer brother first. Not get the special tile, but he's going to he's gonna try and avoid... There it is, special tile on Scarface's side. Kalem not gonna be able to get that. Where's the special tile? It is in World 3 right there. Let's see how Scarface deals with that runaway bro. He's gonna go for the Mushroom House. It's gonna be a frog suit though. He studied, he studied his placements with the special tiles, but he didn't study the, the Mushroom House as that always gives a frog suit. So let's see what he does here. Is he going to cloud six, go to seven, get the cloud from seven? He is. That seems like that is going to be the strategy, the play that he needs to make. He needs to hope and pray that the Hammer Brothers not move to the right. And KLM does not get Runaway Bro. Absolutely fantastic. Although he doesn't get the special tile. Does not get the special tile, unfortunately. But that's okay. He's got more... He's got more time later on. He has two items touching in his inventory. He has now just taken the lead. Neither of these guys... Got water battles. That's pretty good. Well, I can't say for certain with Scarface. He has not fought his second hammer brother. So let's go ahead and wait uh, to see what happens. 
He does not want the Hammer Brother to come up and to the right. Is he going to cloud pass? He's going to cloud pass right here. And there it is. Unfortunately, he's got to do that extra level. That's just simply what happens, man. That's Mario 3. But he's got more points than KLM, so this might actually work out in his favor. All right. KLM making great work. Both of these runners know about their lifelines. I don't see anyone using their lifelines in World 1, so they should be pretty good. KLM doing the H jump. Kills it, man. This could be a big time swing for KLM, man. This could be a huge time swing for Kalem. He is absolutely doing fantastic keeping up with Scarface. Not securing as many points, but he's doing a great job with his P-Speed strategies. And Scarface does, in fact, get no water battles. So that is it for him. He's got the 8. Kalem's got the 5. They are both going to be moving on to World 4. World 4 is the first world to start with an actual punishment inside of a level. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Whoa! Scarface also getting that. What is this? I thought the H jump was hard, man. Where are these guys coming from? Why is everyone so good at this game? Why is everyone so good at this game? What's going on? Now, if I'm doing my world record attempts and I miss the miss the H jump, so much shame. Oh, I am so sorry. KLM got the Mushroom Star Flower. Yes, I, I, I was just thinking about that a second ago, but I didn't mark it down. Thank you very much, chat, for helping out. So KLM is actually securing some of these points. Looking good. My my apologies. He got it. He got it. Flower Star Mushroom. That is right. I did see it, but I just lost my train of thought. I would have marked it the moment I thought about it again. Thank you very much, chat. You guys are killing it. Yo, now's a great time to see how chat's doing and take a sip. Take a sip, my little drinky. KLM with a massive time lead right now. He's going to be fighting Wendy. He's going to go for the secure shots, get the fire kill. It looks like KLM is a solid, I don't know, 40 seconds ahead. 40 seconds ahead of his opponent. Looking good. Here we go. We are entering, guys. We are entering Punishment World. This is where you can get your first punishments. Let's see how this goes. Both runners... Still have to go for, you know, mushroom houses. They got punishment levels. They got time levels. Lots and lots coming up. Ooh, missing. He's got four shots, six shots, seven shots, eight, nine shots, ten, and he's good. And he's in there. If you guys want to keep track for your own record, the time lead KLM has. Let's take a look at his timer when he enters 4-1. 18 minutes exactly when he enters 8-1. So let's see what kind of time lead KLM has. He's going to go for no P-Speed in 4-1. Which, honestly, if you're more comfortable not going for P-Speed, this is the right call, man. We have seen lots of runners in the tournament already. The tournament has been on for four days, guys. Four days, and we've already seen people go with what's more comfortable and take the W. That's just the way it is. It's just how it's going to work. It's just how it's going to work. KLM not getting the best RNG right there, but it could be good. If he gets the star first, then he's almost guaranteed Cloud and P-Wing. That'll be really good for him. Nice! Scarface going for the patented MFP shell guaranteed P-Speed strategy. Not gonna bring it home, though. You have to remember, you cannot touch that pipe when you jump over it. You can, but it's gonna be a very precise turn back when you get your P-Speed. But, hey man, I love to see these guys trying these strategies. It's fantastic. All right, KLM, mm, weird RNG. He's gonna go for the Fire Flower. Does he get it right here? Fingers on the trigger. Oh, he gets the Mushroom. He does not get it. Man, these Mushroom houses have been ruthless this tournament. Scarface getting the shots off. He's gonna go for the standard P-Speed strategy. He does nail, nail it. KLM in a very stressful level right here. Let's, let's... Judge KLM super hard right here. Does he nail this? He's looking pretty good. He's been practicing. Ooh, and this is what happens, man. He has been practicing, but it did not pay off. Let's see if Scarface also gets punished here. This is going to be big for KLM if Scarface also messes this up. Scarface gets his P-Speed back. Almost takes damage on that beetle. Gonna go for the double shot. 
Double shot, meme shot. Scarface doesn't lose P-Speed, misses the pipe entry. This could be big. He loses P-Speed, 288. Oh, and he still gets it. He does not get punished. Unfortunately, KLM does get punished. You get those points, then those points are taken away. Let's take a look at their inventory. They both do- Oh! Scarface does not have items touching where KLM does. Is Scarface gonna try and keep track of his inventory the entire race? That's gonna be hard. KLM swimming blind. Ooh, man, that's the clutch gamer in KLM. KLM is a very experienced speedrunner, and he knew not to panic. I love to see that KLM was able to not panic there and secure and not dying. That was really good. That was really good on his side. You gotta take the good with the bad, guys. You gotta take the good with the bad. I wanna see KLM use the screen scroll to his advantage. But does he get the fire flower? He just, oh my gosh, he cannot get that fire flower. Not securing it. Let's see if he uses the screen scroll to his advantage. I wanna see this. Oh, he does not. And I think this is gonna give him the star. Oh no, what? I was debated, the P-Wing. Scarface is gonna use the music box. Is KLM in a situation where, oh man, is this the P-Wing? I don't think it's the P-Wing. Oh, and it's not the P-Wing, but that's okay. Nico is not, er, yeah, Nico, Scarface Nico is not going for the Mushroom Houses. So that's gonna allow him to actually catch up on KLM quite a bit here. Although KLM has done all of his Hammer Brothers where Nico put his to sleep. Also, that means KLM still has an additional music box here. Does he get early P-Speed though? Let's take a look. Very hard strategy. He nails it and he goes back for the Fire Flower. Wow, Nico getting the early P-Speed. Securing those points right here. All right, KLM, does KLM? Oh, he's gonna go back. Yes, he needs the P-Wing. That is a good play. He's gotta go back and collect the P-Wing. Hammer brother, go stomp stomp. All right, here we go. Nico is gonna have to fight. Oh, that could have ended badly. Kale, I'm not gonna be able to secure the early peace speed, but he is gonna get his fire flower back, which is gonna set him up really nicely for world five. And it looks like Nico got P-Wing after Cloud. Oh, he's going for the mushroom house too. Wow, he's gonna... Completely turn it around here. Does he get the fire flower? He does not get the fire flower. Very unfortunate there. Here comes the time waste, man. The time waste for the mushroom house. There's not much he can do about it, though. And these guys are so close neck and neck. KLM has a couple of extra items and went for a couple of extra mushroom houses. Do, 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 These guys are gonna move on to world five. The most boring airship for these two. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. How's it going, Twitch chat? Dude, KL KLM with that with that no panic strats in 4-4 was actually incredibly impressive. That should go into like a highlight reel. That's right? Like that is um that's pretty tough to do, man. It's so easy to panic, right? When you're in when you're in these high stakes stuff, it's so easy to panic. So easy to panic. That was really good. Yeah. Alright, the most interesting auto scroller in the world. Scarface taking damage there. That's actually gonna cost them a little bit of time in world five So as long as KLM doesn't randomly go inside the boss, he should be able to catch up a little bit in time here <laughs> Yes, KLM KLM does need to generate some points, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Uh, just to clarify, I don't think Scarface Nico got a uh, Flower Star Mushroom. KLM does not have to worry about it, but I don't think Scarface got got Flower Star Mushroom. We're gonna have to report back to chat to find out later, but I still don't think he got it. 
Boom, Nico getting the kill right here. KLM almost going for the fire kill. Wow, that is not easy to do, man. He's clutching out these crazy strats here. Nice, getting the fire kill. Right on. Right on, this is going good. I'm sure mods are looking into the flower star mushroom. We'll let us know later. Uh, but right now, let's get back into World 5. I don't think I missed it. I was watching it, and maybe it slipped by me. I highly doubt it, though. All right, Scarface, Nico. Two items in his inventory touching at the same time. Last item Scarface got was a P-Wing. And the item he gets from beating the airship is a P-Wing. So, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that point. Taking damage again, and now KLM's turn to start World 5. Looking good. KLM is a very experienced speedrunner, so as you can see, he's very good at not panicking and staying calm in the high stakes times. Right? Look at him. He's not deaf. He's going calm. He's playing well, man. That's just how it is. Not, not that Nico isn't doing bad. Nico is doing absolutely fantastic as well. He's coming out of nowhere. Uh, a not known speedrunner. There's not much known about Scarface Nico. A lot of secrets. You never know. You never know, but he's clutching in the points. Maybe he's sitting there, he's like, I need this win, man. Maybe he quit his job, and he wants to be a professional SMB3 points runner, and every season he needs to win that cash prize, you never know. But Scarface Nico does have a Fire Flower in his first inventory slot, and he gets a star. All he needs is a mushroom to secure another point, which would be pretty big with him. <laughs> yes, the commentary memes. No bumps in the overworld map. KLM also securing no bumps in the overworld map. Nico taking it slow, man. I love to see it. No panics, right? KLM not bumping in the overworld map. Still has his fire flower. Look at this. This is an opportunity for KLM to make a big catch up. Big catch up. Look at this. Watch. Oh, he needed to not rub that wall. Commentator's curse. Kale, I'm almost dying there too, but it's okay. He secured it. It's not a huge time loss there. Not a huge time loss there. Alright. He's gonna go for the roulette game. It's his chance. Starts off with a mushroom. Gets another mushroom. Oh my gosh, right away. Does not even stress with it. What? KLM's turn. KLM's turn for the mushroom star. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, Nico taking damage there. Kalem getting the mushroom, come on. Oh, Kalem gets it too. This is huge for them. They're not going to have to waste any time. Nico having to go in the overworld map. Kalem. There's no special tiles right here. They're running out of special tiles. I don't think... Nope. Nico has already got the special tile, but Kalem has not got the special tile. No overworld bumps from either of them just yet. Nico hasn't realized that his items in his inventory have already touched each other. Using a star, man. He's using a star. He wants that 280 in the tower. He needs it. He wants it and he needs it. Was that a bump on KLM's side? Did we just see an overworld bump? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go for the mods. To double check that, but I think KLM just did an overworld bump. I think he just did an overworld bump. Looked like he bumped right before he entered the twisty castle. We're gonna have we're gonna have the judges on that, and it looks like Nico's not gonna be able to get the 280. And I don't think KLM is gonna be able to get the 280 as well as he is hitting 279 right now. 5-4, one of the most dangerous levels in this race. In this tournament so far, it has been the biggest gatekeeper. Nico with the big turnbacks. Does he get the mushroom here? This could be big. Does he get the mushroom? Oh, he doesn't. That is huge for KLM. That is huge for KLM. All right, here we go, KLM. Nico not doing any overworld bumps yet. This is pretty big. KLM doing a much faster 5-4. He's catching up, man. KLM is not dicking around anymore. He's had enough. He has had enough. Neither of them getting coin ships either. KLM does not have to worry about his end level cards. This is big for him. And they both don't have to go for the roulette game. 
That was a bump on KLM's side. I knew it was. I saw it, you know? I, I had my, my vision. Ooh, KLM having to slow down a little bit, but it looks like he's gonna, ooh, yeah, he's gonna go for the collision kill. Get yeah, P-Speed here. That was scary, man. Sometimes that, that, that doesn't work. Sometimes that P-Speed does not let you get that jump. Scarface is gonna have to go for the Fire Flower here. Boom, bingo, bango. Scarface with the questionable uh, NES palettes here. Mario's uh, face color is very confused with the cloud color they got going on right now. It's like going together. KLM getting the Fire Flower! That is huge for KLM. That is exactly what he needed, man. He's catching up with points now. He's catching up with points. All right, well, if Nico does get an overworld bump, then that's gonna be as as well also really good for KLM, but it looks like Nico should be pretty good with securing no bumps in the overworld. That could be pretty big. Slowing down in the fortress here. Ooh, <laughs> and he does take damage, man. This fortress is actually much easier going faster. It only gets harder. It only gets harder the slower you go, man. Those potaboos, you never know which way they're gonna go. KLM is stress-free with inventory. He's stress-free with roulette games. He's stress-free with everything. Boom, he's making good work. Oh, I thought he was dead there. We already, oh, and he did die. The turn back, the turn back on KLM's side is gonna cost them that death. And that is gonna be a punish, punishment point. Nico looking pretty good here. Getting peace being KLM's getting out of there. KLM's getting out of there. We're gonna have to give KLM the death. You hate to see it, guys, the punishment. He doesn't lose a point on dying, but he does lose the reward for doing a deathless run. Nico using his cloud there. Oh my god, two items are not touching on Nico's side. Oh, that's right. Nico did go to the mushroom house after he did the P-Wing in World 4, so he still has not had any items touching his inventory. Wow. Wow, and no bumps on Nico's side. This is an extremely intense race. Man, all of these races are so intense by these runners. Holy, holy guacamole, guys. Holy guacamole. Here we go, KLM. Very stressful level, but looking pretty good. Nintendo Power told us it's impossible to get through that level without taking damage. KLM proves them wrong. All right, here we go. It's just gonna get harder, guys. This race is just gonna get harder for these runners. KLM is gonna use a mushroom here. He is gonna use a mushroom. That is a good call. He's gonna be able to get Fire Flower on this airship. Pretty good. All right. Hope Chad is having a good time. This is crazy. <laughs> you mean casual NES players monthly? Yes. There are three races today. There are three races today. All right. <clears throat> KLM is gonna need to pull it together a couple points here. It looks like KLM might catch up in time, but he's gotta pull together a couple points here, no deaths, and hope that Scarface Nico makes some mistakes. But let's, let's go ahead and get World 6 started on Nico's side here. Let's take a, let's take a good look at his inventory. We gotta pay close attention. No items touching his inventory yet. Does he go for the Mushroom House? He has no idea just yet. He's got no clue. Gets the hammer. Almost coin ship. Very scary. Kayla making good work on the boss as well, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's stunned. Oh, no. Double stun. No. The double stun. And it causes him to take the death. That is going to be big for KLM, that death right there. And where does the coin, where does the ship go? Looks like the ship, he's gonna have to go back down through. And there you go, he's in the clear though. He's in the clear. Not using one of his power-ups before he enters the ship. That's okay though, that's okay, because he does get the mushroom. Dude, the stun lock, it happens. It happens, man. We were waiting to see if it happened to someone today, and it did happen. 
Oh, and Nico. See, this is how it goes, man. Nico takes that death if KLM did not die on the level where he would normally never die in. This would be a great opportunity for him to catch up. Nico, he's he's stunned right now. He doesn't know what to do. What does he do? Where does he get his power-ups? And he's also going to have to take the elevator of shame here. Wow, this could have been huge for KLM had he not died on that airship. It's okay, though. Anything can happen. KLM might think he's, he's super far behind, but he's actually not, man. He's actually not. So let's see how this goes for Nico. All right, there you go. Got the star that time. Got the star that time. KLM, second attempt. And the way KLM fights this boss right now, you would never know that he died on that airship, so. All right, it's Nico's turn at another hard level. 6-4 is a big gatekeeper. We have seen, I think, one or two deaths in this level in the tournament so far. And he's looking clean. It looks like he should be able to get through this pretty easily. Going over top. And he's good. He's in the clear. And KLM is about to enter World 6. Alright, here we go. He did get top pattern, but he's also going to be able to get... Oh, he already has the power up. But he does have a Fire Flower in... His first slot here, KLM gonna use his hammer. Does KLM get low pattern? KLM does get low pattern. This could be big for him. And he doesn't take damage either. This could be big for him. But this could also be good for Scarface if he does get a star and a mushroom. Could be pretty good. And unfortunately, Nico did get a high pattern, so he's not gonna be awarded that point. KLM in the fortress now. But he does not have two power-ups, so he's gonna have to take uh, take it pretty easy here. Go slow with the elevator of shame. The elevator of shame. Don't don't look at me. I never called it that. That's just what we call it in the Mario 3 community. We call it the elevator of shame, the mode of tears. That's just what we call it. No insult to the streamers. Take it easy. It's all right. Streamers are big boys. They can handle it. Alright, Scarface is gonna- he's already got the cloud, but he's gonna go through. No items in his inventory, still touching, man. That is huge points for Scarface, if he can secure this. Alright, KLM, man, he's gonna be catching up. He's gotta hope that Scarface keeps making these mistakes. But I don't know, man. Scarface has been very comfortable. He's been doing very well. KLM was practicing this level earlier, forgot a couple jumps, so he is going to take it slow to make sure he does not make any mistakes, which I think is a, the good play. He definitely made the right play there. Definitely making the right play. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Here we go. No low patterns. If KLM can get a low pattern here, he might be able to clutch in some points. Might be able to clutch in some points here. Nico does have the flower star. Does he get the, the mushroom in this level? This could be huge right here. Let's see what happens. He does get the mushroom, and that is going to be a big play on Nico right there. He's going to get that point back after dying. Going to get that point back after dying. Going to use his P-Wing right here. Nico is not using any stars, guys. This We have seen this so much in the tournament, guys. We have seen it so much in the tournament. So what's going to happen is that he's going to be overflowing with stars. And he's not going to be able to handle it. KLM getting the top pattern. Dang it, he needs these patterns. And it looks like he's not going to be able to get special tile. However, if this Hammer Brother gives a special tile, he should go for it. Not a special tile. Very unfortunate. Oh, and he gets the low pattern. Just a kick in the teeth. That's exactly what he didn't need right there. Got the bad RNG. Scarface Nico not getting the clip there, but that's okay. He's got the points to back it up. Oh! And there it is. Oh, no, that's KLM with the two clouds touching. KLM's already had two items touching in his inventory, so that's not a, that's not a big thing. I thought that was Nico for a second there. I saw that clogged up inventory. This is big. Neither runner right now being able to clutch out any points in World 6. Although, I did interview KLM. He did say 6-4-3 is one of his favorite levels. 
So maybe the RNG, maybe the skill will rain down upon him and he will get that two point clip. That'll be big for him. He's gonna go back. He's, he needs that hammer suit. He needs that hammer suit. Both runners have 20 minutes. 20 minutes to clutch out this run. No one has successfully gotten the 6 port 3 clip in this run yet, so we want to see it. KLM using his star. He's going to go for wall jump manipulation. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wall jump manipulation. Is anyone going to get the 1-up in the 8s? They are not going to get the 1-up. Nico has 16 lives. They've both taken some deaths. And Nico gets the fire clip. I take it back. I take it back. He got a, he got a point in World 6. I take it back. KLM is going to use the P-Wing in 6-9. Kappa, best level name. 6-9 is best level name. Oh, he, oh he's going for the 1-Up. That dude, the 1-Up's right there. I didn't even think of that 1-Up. That is one of the best 1-Ups to go for. For the 1-Up. Wow, okay. KLM is definitely thinking outside the box here. If he didn't have that airship death, he would be on par right now. This is pretty crazy. Looks like Scarface Nico going for a little bit of uh, sub-pixel manipulation. I want to see it happen. He's got five tries for 7-1 though. KLM going for the clip here. Is he going to get the clip? Ah, so close. Almost gets the clip. Almost gets the clip, man. That's very stressful. Very hard to do. It's a combination of skill and RNG. All right, he has five tries to get seven one. One. Two. Three. Four, he gets it within five tries. Would you look at that? KLM, look through his inventory. He does have a fire flower. Ooh. Doesn't want to equip the fire flower. We saw the fire flower in his inventory in the last second there. Maybe he's saving it though. Maybe he's saving it. Scarface Nico's gonna have to go for it. He's gonna go for the leaf and the star. That's actually a pretty good usage. I would have used the stars further in my inventory though. Maybe on page two, we have seen people get screwed over entering world eight, not using their stars. So this could be interesting on their side. Let's see how this goes. Looks like he landed on the exact perfect pixel to hold right and go right in the pipe, and he did. Do 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 do. KLM going for patented wall jump skills. He gets it. He got the wall jump pixel. He would have got the clip if he was Big Mario. Would have got the clip if he was Big Mario. All right, making his way through the airship. Scarface is now on seven three right now. This is very scary. A small Mario does not get P speed. Does the backup strategy, make sure he doesn't die. And it looks like he goes for the hill strats. Hey man, whatever's comfortable I think is the, is the better idea, right? Whatever works comfortable for you. You don't have to always go top tier strats. You go with what's comfortable. Alright, look at that. Woo! KLM going for the stomp strats. Not much else he can do with that, so it looks like that's going to be the play. He's going to go for a sub pixel manipulation setup, and it looks like he is. Boom. Scarface Nico using clap. We have seen this where one player enters world seven and the other player is on the second island. We've seen this many times. It's not over for KLM and it's not a guaranteed win for Scarface. Let's see how this goes. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. KLM has five tries to secure the seven one. I know he's got it in him, man. I know he can do it. I've seen him get seven one before go five tries let's take a quick look at scarface's inventory as well will we have a chance klm does not get a first try scarface inventory looks pretty good second try he's got three more that's three that's four last try ah oh, he got bad rng on that clip there he got a sixth try seventh try getting some bad rng eighth try missed the wall ninth try bad rng there 7-1 not being KLM's friend this run. Looks like 
Scarface is gonna go for the star and it looks like Scarface might actually get the inventory points man this is crazy with these points Okay, I'm still working on the gatekeeper 7-1. You never expect 7-1 to do this to you in a run. It's very, very frustrating. Every time you go for a jump and it doesn't work, it holds you back even more and more. Now, the standing clip is actually harder to secure, but it is more comfortable in terms of execution. So, each runner goes with what they're comfortable with. Oh, and Scarface takes the death! That is huge! One death, right there. He's running out of items to use. Scarface- Oh, KLM gets the clip! Yes! Finally gets the clip! A moment of comfort for KLM right there. Scarface gonna use a P-Wing here, which means he's gonna go very slow. Ooh, swag coin hits. Oh, he's gonna have to make do with- He's got a random pipe in the sky there. We don't even know where that pipe comes from. KLM gonna use the star. KLM is not that far behind, but he does not secure that P-Speed. Nice, gonna get the Fire Flower. Over the kills. Is he gonna go back? He's not gonna go back, so it looks like he's gonna have to hit the music notes, which is okay. We've already seen people do this before in a run. Get a couple music notes, he's gonna go down. That's not the pipe that's gonna help him get to where he needs to go, though. Oh, he's gonna go for the- Ooh! It, man, he had my emotions going there. I thought he was gonna go for that clip. I have seen that clip done before. All right, here he goes. He's secure now. And now it's Scarface's turn to try and go for mid-clip here. He's got two tries for mid-clip. He's got to make up for that death and see what happens here. Oh my god, he gets mid-clip. Look at that. Mid-clip right there. First try. And that is not going to be good for KLM. KLM looks like he accidentally fell through back down in. So he's gonna have to go back down the pipe and try it again. I think he he did. He hit the one up and it booped him back down. What a troll. Who put that in the game? Music box. Music box cloud is the world seven combo. Is the world seven combo right there. Looks like Scarface is gonna be able to enter this world. So judging by the items that Scarface has, it looks like there's no way the same two items can touch his inventory, so he's gonna be awarded that point early. He's gonna be awarded that point early. Look at that, man. That is a huge point advancement. Nice, Kalem making great work with 7-3. This is uh, much faster than Scarface did it because Kalem has the P-Speed and he's going for it. Boom! Get the lack of two and he's on the go. Kalem has a really rough World 7 start. 7-1 seven, and 7-2 seven, not working out the way he wanted to, but he is clutching out the P-Speed strategy in 7-3, and I think he's going to clutch out a much faster World 7 here with the item abuse. The end of World 7 is always item abuse land. KLM is gonna have to be really fast here if he wants to clutch this out in under an hour. Both runner only has 12 minutes. In a standard any percent no wrong warp run that gets two hands is roughly 11 minutes. I'd say 11 minutes and 30 seconds or so. So world eight, you have to remember two of those minutes though in the 11 and a half minutes, two of those minutes are in world one. So world eight in warpless takes if you get no hands about seven or eight minutes. So they're not they're not they're not fully in the clear yet here. Alright. ALM starting island three. He's gonna go for seven eight, and he's got a lot, a lot of items to make sure that he can stay safe. Nico here. Gonna go for the stomp. Does not get stunned. Right? Think about it. If, if Nico ended up getting stunned or something there, right? And died? That would leave the doorway open huge for KLM. The doorway would be huge for KLM. KLM gonna go in the pipe. Go for the hammer suit route. Strictly for safety. And honestly, I agree. That is the better play, man. You need to go for what's safe in this situation. KLM can still clutch in as many points as he can. Ooh, nice hit. He is safe. Look at that. Alright, Nico with 17 lives. Kalem with 18 lives. 19 lives here. 
Halem is going to have to avoid as many one-ups as he can. He's going to have to avoid all the one-ups, all the one-ups in the game now. Oh, um, excuse me, can I have that RNG, KLM, please? Oh, man, he almost got, almost got two first tries. So he's going to go for the clips here. That way he can set up for mid-clip right away. And he looks like he's going to be saving time over Nico with this level. Oh, first try fail. He's got one try left. Ah, almost. We have seen a P-Speedless mid-clip. Almost got it, though. And it looks like Nico is just in the auto-scroller haven right now. At the end of World 7, it's auto-scroller. World, World 8, auto-scroller, auto-scroller. Then the hands. Then more auto-scrollers. So it looks like KLM is probably going to do Music Box Cloud here. Seems like the best play that he can do. Right on. Hopefully KLM equips the Fire Flower or uses the Fire Flower on the airship here. That way he can try and at least get Wrangless on the auto scroller in tank one. Oh man! Oh! This is gonna be very tight for KLM for the sub 60 minutes. You don't get any points for, for getting sub-60 because sub-60 is a qualification for entering the tournament, but you do get punished if you don't get under sub-60. And KLM does get the Fire Flower. That is exactly what I wanted to see from KLM. That is exactly... Oh, okay. I thought it did. I thought it was going to do the minimize thing. Oh, and he does not get Wrangless. That is unfortunate. This is a chance for KLM. KLM needs to sweep a couple points here so that race two isn't so big of a difference here. KLM needs to see, he, he, he needs Nico to make some mistakes here. All right, we, we are going to keep watching, but since we are on airships, I'm going to take a one minute break. Just give me a second, guys. Enjoy and watch. Ask some questions in chat. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. KLM doing the airship, getting the one stop, avoiding the stun. Oh my god, he's almost getting stunned. No way! Is this gonna? Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Wowzer! Man, I just got back and he's already scaring me. Holy crap. KLM is going to be able to use a fire flower here. What? And Nico gets no hands. Nico gets no hands. This is insane. All right, we're gonna have to pay very, very close attention here. See if he gets no rocket kills. He's gotta make sure he doesn't take any damage as well. KLM's gotta equip the Fire Flower. He does, very smart play. If he gets Wrangless, he can clutch in some points. If Nico takes damage. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, and KLM takes damage early on in World 8. He's not going to be able to get that damage point. <sighs> Nico. Oh my goodness. Nico also doesn't take damage, but he does get the Rang. He does get the Rockies. Let's get the Rockies. He, Nico has also not taken damage yet here. So let's see how the rest of this world goes. KLM cannot secure... He cannot secure the Wrangless. And he's already taking damage. This is going to be pretty rough. With the way KLM's time is, I, I think he's got to hope to get all hands. And that is it. 
That is all that KLM can actually go for now. He can only even out here because he's going to get second place and he's going to get punished for the 60 minutes. So it looks like KLM is going to finish with four or five points. It's going to make a race two extremely, extremely hard for KLM here. This is, this is not ideally how you want it to go. And it looks like Scarface is going to go for the sun kill right here. What's going to happen here? Oh! He gets Sticky Hill. And he gets the Sun Kill. Holy crap. Sticky Hill is a very, very scary thing. Scaring that point. And meanwhile, Kalem on his side. He is finishing the first tank. And he gets the he gets the Hammer Brother kill. As long as he gets the Hammer Brother kill, that's good. And honestly, the Boomerang Bro moved backwards. Which means he was never going to be able to get Wrangless anyways. However, he did take damage. I don't know how much lag was caused. It all depends. You never know with the, with some of the RNG points. All right, Scarface Nico is gonna use the star and go into the auto. Or sorry, he's gonna go into the last fortress here. He's at the 56 minute mark. We'll see how it goes for the run here. KLM in the navy doing some pog jumps. There's not much KLM can really do here. He's kind of stuck in this situation, right? God, it's, it sucks when you're on these auto-scrollers. You're not in a massive amount of control. Okay. I thought Nico was going to get the overkill there, but he does not get the overkill. There is no no hands points. Guys, if you guys type in exclamation tournament there, you guys can get the, the calendar of when all the races is. You guys can get the points. You guys can read the point sheets uh, yourselves. You can take a look and read them, read them thoroughly um, so you guys can know what points you can get. And you can also take a look at the brackets. Yes, you have to schedule the brackets and the points at your disposal. Just type in exclamation tournament. Let's go, guys. Exclamation tournament. Looking pretty good. All right, let's see. KLM, KLM has the opportunity of, of getting two points here. If he gets all three hands. Oh, he gets the first hand. He gets the first hand. Let's go. Let's go. Meanwhile, Nico needs to make sure he takes no damage there. KLM making good work of that. Dude, that's a scary hammer, brother. Let's go, baby. All right, finish this hand one. KLM has just enough time to get the hands point and get the airship point. That'll be crazy. Not getting the over KLM, not getting the hand point, but it looks like he's gonna be able to do hand three and try and clutch out the the wrenches, the wrenches point. He needs he needs as many points as he can get here before the end of his run. Nico almost that's scary man if he takes damage that's a huge difference in points for him a huge difference in points if KLM's got a p-wing here this will be great for him he does have a p-wing looks like KLM is going to be guaranteed that point and Nico also getting 20 lives oh wow Nico just lost like three points right there Oh no! Oh no! Dude, there is so many things that that if KLM didn't just slightly slip up on. There are so many things if he didn't slightly slip up on, KLM could have had this in the bag. That unfortunate auto scroller death, man, and some of those stuns. Nico had some slip ups here. This is crazy. I don't know if Nico is gonna be able to secure. Nico will not get the 20 lives point for because he won't finish the run. I don't think Nico is going to be able to do it. KLM does get the no Rocky kills. And it looks like KLM's run is going to pretty much end at the end of this auto scroller. Nico. Wow. Wow. See, guys? See, guys? Anything. Anything can go. 
He's not going to be able to secure the 60 minutes, so he is also going to get punished. But he is going to get the first place. He was further in 60 minutes. Wow. KLM as well, not going to be able to secure the 20 lives point as he didn't finish his run and neither is Nico. Wow, absolutely insane. So the punishment for both of them, but KLM gets second place. Nico was going to have 20, 20 something. Nico does, oh no, he took damage. No rang, enter hand. Look at that, man. Look at that, absolutely insane. Nico was going to finish with like 21 points. And that death right there brought him, brought him down, man. Brought him down. KLM is ready. Scarface is ready. They are ready to get this over with. I'm very excited. Woo! All right. On go. Counting from three. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Boys are getting ready. All right, three, two, one, go! Wee! Let's get it done, guys. Let's get it done. Race two on the go. Let's go ahead and get some audio. We don't want to sit here and listen to only my voice. We need a little bit of music here. All right, much like race one, they're gonna go for the consistent and comfortable peace speed strategy in one one. Although Scarface missing the mushroom here, he's already off to a rocky start. This is what KLM needs. This will be insane if this has a massive turnaround. Scarface slipping up, right? He's slipping up. This is what's happening right now. All right, for anyone who doesn't know, let's quickly go through what are the points that you can get in world one. The frame perfect jump with the hammer brother and the ship ducking. You got to stay in the ducking animation for the entire ship. It's going to be interesting. KLM already doing much, much better. I think he was able to shake off the uh, round one nerves. Very easy to get nervous and allow that to affect. You see, one of the interesting things about being nervous and speed running is that nerves often always affect, well, not often always, but often affect a person's hands, right? You get shaky hands and shaky fingers. Well, you need your hands and fingers for these speedruns. KLM in a sticky situation. Looks like he's gonna have to go for the boom boom, which is actually not too bad because he is not gonna have that uh, warp whistle in his inventory. Going for the, the meme clip you'd never see in a run here. Yes, just take the door, that is a good idea. Unfortunately, it's, it's like a mild auto-scroller and he's gonna go back some time here. Not much he can do about this though, but hey, What's done is done, right? That's not much you can do. Not much you can do. Meanwhile, Scarface is going to take the lead on that one. And it's going to allow him to take a little bit of a lead. Maybe half a level, it looks like. Not taking damage. Not getting his head stuck. Boom. Getting the one up. KLM breaking that. We never get to see that lock broken. So I'm actually kind of happy now. He's gonna have to do some backup, no damage boost strats. Does Scarface get the frame perfect jump? He does not get the frame perfect jump and that is amazing for KLM. We all know that the time loss right now for KLM is, is nothing, it means nothing, right? He's, he's not, he's not, it, technically he's probably not even behind in time because so many things can happen, right? So many things can happen. And, and is Scarface's points gonna get to his head? Is he gonna think, oh, I'm, I got this and then he's gonna let it get to him and Maybe make some pretty big mistakes. Who knows, man? Season 1, we had people in the minus when they finished. If, if Scarface finished in the minus and KLM clutched out some points here... Oh! And that is not going to be a clutch point for KLM. That is where some bad things might happen for KLM here. It hurts, man. It hurts. But he's going to get the mushroom here. He's got to shake it off, though. It's not over for him. It is not over for him. You guys have seen it. Scarface is going to go for the ducking on the entire ship the whole time. And let's see how he does. We got to focus strong here. We got a strong focus. We have seen people do like single frame, you know, release of the down, you know. So we don't know how it's going to go. KLM is going to go for the mushroom house. Is he going to get the fire flower early? It's what he needs. He's not going to get that fire flower early. So it looks like he's going to be back up here. 
Looks like Scarface has not done any peekage. KLM gets the first frame jump. That is exactly what KLM needed. That is exactly what KLM needed right there. And it looks like Scarface Nico did, in fact, get the two points there. That is going to be pretty big. That's going to be pretty big for Scarface. Some big points. That is some big pop of points right there. But we know KLM is a big pop of KLM. So it looks like he's going to need to clutch in some points here. Is KLM going to do the duck strat? He is not going to go for the duck strat. All right, these guys are in a great position. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to go grab a bottle of water. I will be right back. Keep yourselves entertained. And hey, no shoving and no bullying. All right, if we get some shoving and bullying, I'll be back and I'll, I'll find out. has died on the first airship what is happening with klm this is not what he wanted this is not this is not how he wants race two to go he did definitely have an opportunity and i don't want to say he doesn't anymore but it is getting a little scary for him i think he needs scarface I think he needs Scarface to get a game over here. We'll see how this goes. KLM is going to clutch out the kill here. Ah, oh, there it is. Very nice fire kill from KLM. Where was that the first time, man? A fire kill would have been nice. Missing the wand. <laughs> Missing the wand. You hate to see it, man. It does happen, though. It does happen, man. These races don't always go the way you want. Meanwhile, Scarface is getting all movements of two here. All movements of two so far. Scarface Nico making really good work of two, three. Clutching it out here. Not gonna go for the super, super peace speed strategies, but he's gonna make, he's gonna make with what he's got. KLM now going for the 2-1 P-Speed strategies. I've seen him clutch it up before. He clutched it out last time. And he's going to clutch it out this time. Right there. Boom. Scarface Nico. I think he always goes for the sun here. I think he's going to go for the sun kill. Yes, he is. Is he going to go for that giant swag shot? Scarface also has the fire flower right there early in the matchup. Oh, he missed and took damage. That is going to be huge. Ooh, what's going to happen here? He's going to give KLM a chance to catch up because KLM is not... Ooh, he's going to go for the collision right there. That's pretty good. And he's going to get the star. He is going to get the star. Going to give KLM a chance to catch up here. Mainly because KLM does not go for the sun. Does not go for the sun point. Scarface still getting movements of two. This is ridiculous for him. Getting those movements of two. KLM also getting those movements of two right there. Is Scarface Nico going to get the mushroom here? He is going to get the mushroom. Wow. Right off early. Does not have to worry about it. Does not have to. And he got the little sun kill right there. Still getting all movements of two. Meanwhile, KLM is making work of the fortress. KLM is catching up. He's done dicking around. I think he's had enough. And he's like, listen, I am a respected speedrunner. I got this, man. I can do this. He's performed in GDQs before. He's done speedruns of many, many games, man. He's got this. Ooh, Nico doing a uh, couple missed jumps for the pipe there. KLM also getting another movement of two still. All right, here it is. KLM's going to start with his cards here. Hopefully he gets a flower. That'd be pretty good for him. Nico getting another movement of two. 
Wow, this is the hammer as well. This is crazy for Nico. If that hammer brother moves back to the left, that'll be it. He got his... Unbelievable. Making it so hard for Caleb to catch up. That point, I... Guys, I was expecting to see this point once. I was expecting to see all movements to two once in this entire tournament. But we didn't have it. Didn't have it happen. Uh, I was also not expecting Scarface Nico to go back for that mushroom mess. Did he get the flower? I don't think he got the flower. All right, Kalem, go for the Mushroom House. He wants that flower. He better get that flower early game. Come on, Kalem, get that flower. He does. He gets the flower. That is actually really good for him. Collecting points. think Scarface I'm, I'm asking chat right now I'm not sure if they were watching but I don't think yeah I don't think Nico got the fire flower but KLM did get the fire flower KLM is now going to get the hammer and make his way through the pyramid all right we've seen some pretty crazy deaths some pretty crazy point swings here so oh Scarface taking damage there Nice, he's gonna get the second hit, and he's gonna go for the third hit right there. Bingo, bango. Okay, well, I'm taking damage on the pyramid, but that's okay because you do get a fire flower on the airship. You do get a, you can get your fire flower back on the airship, and KLM is out of this world as soon as he's done this level. That is correct. Yes, we do have a marked office flower star mushroom. We did give Nico the flower star mushroom. All right, world three starting for Nico. KLM entering the airship. We have seen this before in many races. It's not over yet. Not over yet. So it looks like Scarface is gonna have to go for that backup fire flower in this level right here. Boom. All right, here we go. He's not gonna be able to keep that P-speed. Okay, sea creatures always be sea creatures, right guys? We all know about the sea creatures all the time. Okay, let him get that fire flower back. That's good. He needs it. Nico not getting the ideal hammer brother movements. This could be bad for him. This could be bad for him. Another runaway, two runaways in a row. What a nightmare. Nico also has two stars right now. Is he gonna get a fanfare? Ooh. He's gonna go under, then back under, and then back under across again. Nico making some questionable plays right here. He's got two, he's got 29 and eight in his 10, so he's pretty good. Is he going to get a star here? Probably not. No, he is not, okay, he's good. KLM going for the stop strat. He's gonna get him out of the way and then make his way to world three. He's not super far behind, especially if Scarface gets the runaway again, which you don't know. We don't know. Not gonna be able to clutch out the early P-Speed. Nico is making time mistakes. Giving KLM a chance to catch up here, so. Oh man, that fish every time scares me. How many coins is Nico gonna get here? He's gonna fall in the water. Oh! Takes the death from the fish, and that is gonna change the way his bridges are opened and closed here, ladies and gentlemen. That is gonna be big for the bridge. This is what I'm talking about, guys. It's not always, it's never. Oh my God, he's gonna get stuck again. Wow. Just absolutely wow right there on those duck jumps through the blocks. I've never even seen someone even do that before. That was crazy. I, oh, again, this is what I'm talking about. What is with this tournament? If only KLM, 
If only KLM knew, man, if he didn't make those weird mistakes, right? This is crazy. Again! Three times! Three times, guys! What the actual heck is going on right now? KLM is actually going to take the lead right now. What? Th the game over. Remember I said this is what? <laughs> what? I, don't, I can't even... I can't even right now, guys. I can't even right now. Okay, he's out. He's out. KLM is in the same level right now as Scarface. In the same level right now as Scarface. This is crazy. Scarface has died three times now, which means the bridges are all messed up. All messed up. Let's see what he let's see what happens here. He's gonna go for door three. Does he get door three? He does not get door three. This is some weird ass stuff right here. KLM getting the mushroom. KLM not getting the flower star mushroom just quite yet. All right, making his way through the force today. Both in the exact same level right here. If KLM gets door three, this will be insane. Oh, come on. We needed KLM to get door three so bad. That would have been absolutely incredible. KLM catching up, man. He's going to have Fire Flower for the boss. It's going to allow him to catch up a little bit in time there. All right, Scarface. He's going to actually get the special tile. This is the special tile. He's going to go for it first. Grab the chest, go back, and he's going to grab the leaf. Scarface Nico is going to get that special tile. He's bringing points back. KLM should go for level four first. Ah, not going to go for level four first. That's okay. You get a special tile later somewhere else in the run. If KLM went for level four first, not only would he be able to guarantee no runaway, bro, but he would have been able to avoid that water battle and also get the special tile. And that's where some of the practice would have actually paid off. He would have known that that combo, KLM would have been able to just clutch out two points here if he did level four first. But unfortunately he's not, but that's okay. Because it looks like, wait, Scarface Nico does not actually have to go for that hammer, brother. So he's not gonna get H2O battle. Wow. With all those points lost, it's still gonna, it's still gonna be able to catch up with some points here. Gonna get some buffering on KLM's side. Looks like a little bit of internet chuggage. Well, let's see how this goes. They are in the same level. KLM has two items touching his inventory where Scarface Nico does not. So it looks like. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to go to world four here on both points. Looking good for both gentlemen here making it through world three. Scarface Nico getting H jump and 69 coins. You love to see it. KLM getting through 3 8. Nice and clean. He's going to make sure he gets through 3 9 nice and clean. And he's going to hope that Scarface is going to start making some more of those mistakes. That was insane right there. That was insane. KLM, he's going to go for the backup Fire Flower. Good idea. He's going to want it for the Wendy battle. He needs the back of Fire Flower for the Wendy battle. He needs it. All right, make good work of those fish. Get out of here, sea creatures. We don't need you right now. And now, KLM, they are going to be on the same level at the same time. Let me take a look at chat, guys. Oh my gosh. How do you guys feel about that World 3? How do you guys feel about that World 3? Crazy, right? Am I right? Just, just absolutely. That's crazy. The horrible boss bath deaths. That's right. Way too scary, man. So much, so much crap going on. So scary, man. Scarface lost Fire Flower. That's gonna give KLM an opportunity to catch up in time. Big opportunity. Scarface Nico he dies here on Wendy. Has he practiced Wendy? 
Let's see how this battle goes. One hit. Oh, man. All right, he got it. That was way too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. All right, Scarface making his way out of World 3. KLM very close behind. Wendy fire kill. Look at that. That was a very clean kill on KLM's side. Absolutely incredible. It's going to be able to save some time here. Be able to save some time. All right, here we go. World 4. People, I'm, I'm assuming... See, KLM already has the fire flower, so he's not going to be checking mushroom houses where Scarface is. And this might be the opportunity that KLM needs. Gonna get that mushroom to safety. No P-Speed strategies here. Wall rub the blocks. You hate to see it. You don't want to be wall rubbing. You don't want those body rubs, man. You don't want those body rubs. Boom. Stomp that turtle. KLM's turn. They're very close right now. Very close. Nice. Go over the shots. KLM is already doing 4-1 faster. This is an opportunity right here. Scarface is actually gonna go back. This is another... Gr no! That was so close for KLM, but he's gonna have to go ahead and take that death again. KLM having a very rocky start, man. Very rocky race, too. Oh, he's getting the block stuck. Uh, what? The shell stuck in the block? That is silly. All right, Scarface, he's gonna go for the Mushroom House. Is he going to get it right here? This point, he does not get it. And that's the kind of stuff that KLM needs to happen, man. If he's gonna clutch this back. Making that jump look so easy this time, KLM, where last time was a little bit of a struggle, but he's in there. Scarface, not gonna be able to build Peace Speed. Oh, he does build it back. Is he gonna get punished here? Let's find out. KLM's turn at 4-2 here. Looks like Scarface is not going to get punished here. Nope, 288. He is not going to get punished. He's looking pretty good. Not, not securing any points, though, but he's looking pretty good. He's going to use his hammer here. Oh, two music boxes almost touching. And KLM gets through 4-2. So hopefully KLM remembers he does not have to go for the Mushroom House. Hopefully he remembers. Nice, that's a good spot. Getting that... Getting that... Um, Cloud early is really good for KLM. Nico getting the fire flower. He's gonna be swimming blind here, though. Very scary. All right, KLM got KLM got punished last time for doing this level. Let's hope he doesn't get punished again. He does not need any points taken away. <gasps> oh, Nico spent so much time getting that fire flower, and he lost it anyways. Not gonna pay off. Ah, KLM makes the same mistake as last time. Very unfortunate, man. He's gonna have to get that punishment. He's gonna get the punish. The punisher. KLM should get points for, for glitching that, that block, yeah. Ooh, if this is the star, that is gonna be unfortunate for KLM. Let's find out what it is. Ah, it's the star. He's not going to be able to get the cloud P-Wing. It's okay. KLM's turn. Hopefully he equips his Fire Flower here. He is not. This is going to be very scary, man. This level is tough. Meanwhile, Scarface making great work on 4-5, I think it is. Oh, oh. All right. He gets the Mushroom this time. That is good, man. That is some, like, good protection. Even though he's swimming blind, it's always good to be protected, right? Right, boys and girls? That's right. Making a safety joke here. Oh, and he gets the early P-Speed. He's going to go back and get the Fire Flower. Early P-Speed for Scarface Nico. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait to see if he gets the P-Wing after the Cloud. See, so, yeah, RNG, man, can screw him over here. And that early P-Speed. Let's see what happens here. 
They did not switch. Wow. Scarface is not sure what the item is. He's doing Mushroom House first. And that's gonna ruin- Oh, but he gets the Fire Flower right there. Wow, the RNG, man. The RNG. He could screen scroll. I don't know if that's the right idea because now he's going to have a P-Wing in his inventory. And he gets the P-Wing there. KLM takes a death, though. KLM with the death. Very unfortunate. And he did get the- Wow, man. Scarface Nico with the ridiculous amount of points again for race two. Look at this card right here. What is going on? And then he gets the star after he used the, he abused the screen scroll. What an absolute mad lad there with that cosmic brain play. Do you guys see that play that Scarface Nico did? He was able to screen scroll across the star, get the P-Wing, get the point, then get the star, so that when he finishes the world, he's not gonna have two P-Wings touching. Unbelievable. But good news is, even though KLM did take the death, he's going to be finished this fortress very soon, which means they are both going to be in World 4 Auto Scroller. Again, in terms of race and time, it's not over yet. KLM can still win this in time and cause Scarface to take that punishment. There you go. They're both on the Auto Scroller at the same time. Man, it's been an intense race. As a um, as a longtime friend of KLM, I'm always rooting for him, so I'm always going to be optimistic and always going to be positive with not only his abilities but the ability to clutch out this run and uh, maybe maybe not take the tournament win and progress in the brackets. You know, that's gonna be really rough here, but I want to see him finish. I want to I want to make sure, you know, everyone has fun and as long as he can pull through, I think he's got this. How's it going, chat? How are you guys liking World 4 Airship? I know I'm not. I know I'm not. Hmm. Well, as long as you guys are having fun, that's all I care about. Oh, Nico going right through the boss. You hate to see that, man. That is like the worst thing to happen. Taking damage there, he's gonna lose some time in World 5 not having Fire Flower. KLM almost done on the airship as well. Taking damage on the airship as well. Let's hope that KLM does not go through that boss, man. That, that this could be really bad for KLM. All right, here we go. Scarface Nico starting world five. He doesn't have to worry about inventory and he doesn't have to worry, worry about his end level cards. So he's just got to go. He's got to go for roulette stuff. Okay, KLM didn't go through the boss. I was so nervous for him. Okay, he's good. You guys have no idea how scared I was right there, KLM. That is a big scary moment. That is a big scare scare. Alright, moving to two. No overworld bumps on Nico's side. He's entering 5-2 now. Pretty strong. Nico, like I said before, Nico wants to be a professional SMB3 points runner. He quit his job, right? He's going for the points. He wants the prize money, pay his rent, and he wants to enter season three, get the higher cash prize, and he wants to become a millionaire playing the SMB3 points tournament. So this is gonna be great for him. This is gonna be great. It looks like he's on his way to do that, right? I wouldn't advise you to quit your career to become a professional points tournament runner, but I mean, if you're gonna keep winning these cash prizes, I mean, look at how much money you're gonna make yearly from these things, you know? $1,200 a year is pretty good, man. That's no joke amount of money. All right, KLM, yes! 
gets the fire flower in 5-1, man. I love to see it. I love to see it. Yes, KLM. No bumps in the overall map. KLM bringing it back strong in World 5. Meanwhile, Scarface Nico getting work done. Getting work done on this boss. There we go. You know, I'm just teasing you guys. Yes, always having fun. I'm making fun of my own tournament. I love it, though. Uh... No! Is he going for that mushroom house because it gives the tanuki? I'm not sure. KLM, gonna get the star. KLM does get the star! And Scarface being smart there. You see, he got that item. No bump in the overall map. He's gonna go back for the spade roulette. Does he get it? No, he does not get it. He's gonna give KLM an opportunity to get a point on him early on. KLM catching up. Scarface taking it slow. KLM taking it fast. Scarface taking it slow. KLM taking it fast. What's gonna happen here? No overworld bumps yet from either of them. Looking pretty clean. Nice, Kale. I'm gonna go for the pewing here. Oh! Okay, I think he's good. Scarface gonna go for the 280 in the Twisty Castle. No mistakes. Uh, can I get somebody to go check? Did KLM do overworld bumps? I don't think he did. But if we can get a double check, that'd be great. And it looks like Scarface Nico is not going to be able to get the 280. But did KLM do overworld bumps? No bumps from KLM there. He just took it slow. That's good. They're both in the Twisty Castle now. This is incredible. Dang, pipes. All right, 5-4. Very important world here. Very, that level is very scary. All right, they're coming up to the matchmaking game. Does KLM secure the jump here? He does. He's got 89 coins, no bumps on Nico's side. And KLM is out of the Twisty Castle. Let's go, buddy. All right, he's in 5-4 now. Looks like Scarface is doing a fantastic job doing work here up in the top section of World 5. Although he did just bump, but he got his P-Speed back, so he is good. KLM going for world record strats here in this. Oh, the short hop. It's going to cost him the life there. That death bringing him down to zero points. Looks like Nico's going to go for the... Oh, and he does not get the roulette game. Nico checking for the for the tiles. Nope, not checking. Oh, and KLM takes another death in 5-4. 5-4 has been the hardest level for our runners. Has been the hardest level for our runners. All right, he's going to try one more time. going to try one more time. He made it look easy there, right? He made it look easy, but is KLM going to get the point? Mushroom Flower Star. No! He got the flower! Dang it! Alright, Scarface at the Fortress. KLM making his way to... Is he going to bump, though? No bonks in the overworld map. Alright, here we go. He's going to get the mushroom. He's going to get the mushroom. He's going to get the... He's going to get the, the shell to make great work for this P-Speed right here, and he's got it. Very nicely done by KLM. Very nicely done. He's out of there. Scarface Nico is also out of the fortress as well. Whee! No bumps, but he's going to go for his last opportunity here for an additional point. And he's not going to get it. And KLM's going to go for it though. No, KLM is going to go for the flower. No bumps on Scarface's side either. Rough world five for both runners. Rough World 5 for both runners.
Five four has been a massive bully in this tournament. No bumps. All right, at least he was able to secure one world five point, and KLM also has not bumped on the overworld map yet either. KLM in the fortress. He did. I think he did die last time in this fortress. No, he did. No, he did die. I think. Oh. And he takes that death there too. Seven deaths here. This is very, very rough for KLM. He's gonna be able to fight the Hammer Brother early though. Not be too bad. That music box. Taking a big stretch there. He, all right, he's back in the fortress with a vengeance, man. He needs to get this fortress. That way he can go for the roulette game one more time. Hopefully get himself out of the negative. Can't guarantee we Ooh, another death there. We can't guarantee KLM is gonna secure any wins here. But if he does join uh future tournaments, he will have points and games won versus lost in his statistics, right? Every player gets to keep track of their own statistics, right? We keep track of everything over here at uh SMB3 League. Alright. KLM makes it out of the fortress. Good. He's out of there. He's done. He's happy. He still hasn't done any overworld bumps yet. No overworld bumps. KLM is not gonna go for the last spade card game. Maybe he's thought, alright, I've lost way too much time with my deaths, so I gotta get the heck out of here with time. Here we go. Here we go. So this is the last opportunity for KLM. No bumps on the overworld map. No bumps on the overworld map here. Let's take a look. Use this cloud. Move, move. Goes back in his inventory. Use it. And he's good. No bumps for KLM. Right on. Trying to dil dilute those points. Looks like Nico's going to have to go to the Mushroom House again. To try and... Yeah, I guess so. If he used the grab the hammer, use the hammer. Ooh, he bumped in world six just in time. And he gets the low pattern. The low pattern is gonna help him maybe secure another point. KLM is gonna get revenge in the world five airship. He is not gonna get stun locked this time. I know it. Is Scarface gonna go for the 279 in this fortress? I don't think so. He's gonna go for the guaranteed get through safety and not die points. Which is not a point, but if he died, he'd lose a point. There we go. I don't think this can get you the 279, but we'll see. Nope, he's on 279 right now. This is like a, looking like a 276. Alright. Go KLM, this is it. I gotta watch KLM, man. He's gonna get the vengeance here. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked again. Get wrecked. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. If only that happened last time, there wouldn't be such a, a huge difference here. But he did nail it. All right, he's gonna have to use the P-Wing here on Scarface's side. Scarface is in a situation where he could get a couple points in World 6 here. Meanwhile, KLM is also entering his World 6. Ooh, not gonna be able to get the despawn here, but he, he knows the strat. He knows the tail swipe. He's gonna make it work. He's gonna make it work. Woo! KLM starting World 6 here. KLM does not have to worry about inventory, he does not worry, have to worry about mushroom houses, and he does not have to worry about items touching. So he's in the clear. Oh, Scarface getting a marathon, and KLM unfortunately gets upper pattern. Not gonna be able to get that point. Are the bros gonna go for another lap? They do not go for another lap. But it looks like Scarface is in a very tight situation here. Alright. KLM in the fortress. What's gonna happen? Scarface knows his hammer brothers, so he's gonna go for screen scroll and he gets the upper pattern. Unfortunate, but he does get the special tile. He already has it though. He already has the special tile. So no point there for him. No 
Good point there. KLM getting the star. He's gonna go for the... Come on. Nice, dude. 278. So close, dude. KLM was so close to that point, man. I, I need to see him get out of the, the minus here. For future seasons, points, and references. Alright, 6-4. The gatekeeper. The one. The one. Oh, the gatekeeper. Like I said, 6-4 and 5-4 have been the worst, guys. The absolute worst today. Alright, Scarface got out of the fortress. He is now entering probably one of the easier levels in this world, I'd say. Nice, KLM is probably, he's definitely going to make it out here. Oh no, KLM might get a coin ship here. Odds change, evens don't. And he got an odd, so it looks like KLM is actually going to get a coin ship here. This is a disaster. Coin ship for KLM. That's a coin ship, he's going to lose a point for that. Wow, very unfortunate. Odds change, evens don't. That is a coin ship. He's gonna get the despawn strap, which is incredible. That's not an easy strategy to do. Meanwhile, Scarface Nico doing the 6 9 patented P Wing. Get out of here. And he is on his go. Alright. Let's see. Does Scarface Nico get the 6 Fort? Three. Oh, he bumped. He took damage. There could be a death here. Unfortunately, if KLM wants that cloud, he's going to have to do the coin ship or die on the coin ship. Either way, got to do something, but he needs that cloud. Scarface not dying. So he's gonna skip the coin ship altogether. That's actually not a bad play because the coin ship will probably take longer than what the cloud is gonna allow you to skip. He's still got a cloud for 7 4, so he's good. Right? He's good. And he doesn't wanna take the death on it either. Alright, Scarface. Not able to go. Not able to even go for the clip there. Trying to figure out what item to use here. He's gonna use the leaf. Hopefully he knows to take damage. That'll be the best thing for him. No points clutched out here. KLM not far behind, man. He's really not that far behind. So what's happening here is KLM is actually playing better, okay? He's playing better in race two, but because he's going for strategies that are more risky for better time saves, it's causing him to take a couple deaths. Because he is securing a lot of really good strategies here, but it's just not bringing it home, which is unfortunate, but it's not, you know, it happens. He's only gonna get one shot at it. He's only gonna get one shot at it. Scarface securing no points in World 6. You hate to see it. KLM's turn to have an opportunity to get one step closer to getting out of the minus. All right, so he still has his big Mario. This is big for him. If he gets this, he'll be the first person in the tournament to get it. It'll be pretty pog. Ah! I thought he had it, man. I always think everyone has it, man. I always think everyone has it. It's always so freaking close. Beep, beep. Just as soon as Scarface Nikos, KLM enters. Wait. Wait, what the hell did I just say? What did I say? As soon as Scarface equals? No, as soon as Scarface exits, KLM enters. There we go. I can English. All right. Nico has five opportunities, five chances for 7 1. Let's see if he gets it. Finger is on the trigger here. One. Two, three, wow, he does get it. So he got fourth try and third try in his runs today. Wow, 
All he's got left is mid clip in world seven, so he's just gotta get himself through this world. He's just gotta get himself through this world, that's it. KLM gets the clip, man! Yes, KLM working his way to get out of the minus. He's got this. He's got this, man. Scarface does not have peace speed, so he needs to keep this tail so he can float across. Which he does. Right on. Taking damage. I think he's good, though. He is good. But he's gonna have a very scary 7-3. Unless he uses an item. Unless he uses an item. Boom. KLM with the stomp kill. That's exactly how Warpless goes. Stomp kill. He's gonna go for subpixel. Subpixel dicking around. All right. Alright, this is very scary. 7-3, see how it goes? It gets scary. He got half P-Speed. Oh, that was close. 7-3 can be scary as Small Mario, man. It can be very scary as Small Mario. But it looks like he's gonna be able to clutch it out. KLM's turn here. KLM has five chances here. Five chances. KLM has zero points right now total, so we don't want him in the negative. Alright, one, two, three, come on, four, he gets it! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, GG KLM. Scarface is on island two, they're actually doing better in time compared to each other than last time. And Scarface is killing it right now, he is on island two. KLM had a very, very slippery 7-2 last run. I don't think he's gonna have the same slipperiness. Can you use one of those P-Wings? He's like, I'm making sure I'm out of here, man. I'm not dealing with that crap. Um, oh! Nice, he makes it. Very clean for KLM. Oh, this could be risky here. Gotta take it slow. Oh my gosh! Thought he was safe. Was not safe there. As soon as he gets a point, he gets points taken away. My goodness. I didn't know. I thought he was safe right there. I really did. I thought he was safe. All right. Scarface Nico making his way to island number three. What is his options here? He's using his stars. KLM getting out of 7-2. Although he's used two P-Wings, so what's going to happen now? Where's his P-Wings? What's he going to do? Some weird somersault tail swipe. That was pretty cool. Taking damage there. He's pretty safe, so he does not have to worry about it. And he's out of there. KLM is on island two, while Scarface is on island three, so it's not the end of the world right here. Alright, looks like Scarface is either gonna grab the fire flower or just go straight up. He's gonna grab it from the bottom. That is my recommendations. That is my suggestion that I should say to all runners. Wow, Kalem almost takes that death there too. That was very scary, man. But he got through 7-3. Now he's going to Cloud. And I think he's out of P-Wings, isn't he? Nope, there's a P-Wing right there. I saw it. Maybe he's going to use the star, get a P-Wing from the Piranha Plant, double P-Wing. I don't know. Scarface Nico, first attempt failed. And second attempt failed. That's very unfortunate. Not much you can do about it. Not much you can do. Alright, he's at a 7-9. KLM is just finishing up 7-4-2. They were almost gonna be on Island 3 at the same time, man. Very close. KLM taking damage. Gonna set up some weird... He's gonna try. I mean, he's gonna mess around with the subpixels, which doesn't hurt, man. Gonna have to use that music box. He's got a cloud right there. He was nervous. He was like, did I just not have a cloud? Alright, KLM's gonna have to go for the clips here. One, two... Oh, gets it third try. If only that was a point, man. If only that was a point. Alright, KLM's gonna make his way to Island 3 in World 7 here. Not gonna be able to secure this win and is probably going to be knocked out of the bracket. Very unfortunate to see uh, KLM get knocked out in this, uh, the way Game 2 worked out. Game 2 has not been working out for KLM since the beginning and it's just... 
what happens, man. It's just what happens. It's one of those you hate to see it moments. But I think we still have had some very good clutch uh, plays in this tournament so far in this these uh, two races here for both opponents. Scarface Nico is still testing it. He's not guaranteed the sub 60 right here, so Let's see what happens. Scarface Nico spends a lot of time on his inventory, right? Which could cause him sub 60. Alright, Kalem's gonna go for the clips here. Oh my god, lend me that clip RNG for 7 9. Holy crap. Gets first try clip. And. Two. Three. Got P speed. Four. Five. There we go. Five. All right. Mid clip right here coming up. Oh, the 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 little hole there. Ah, almost. Does not secure the mid clip. Also, let me uh, double check. Uh, chat, I don't think Scarface Nico got mid clip, did he? I don't think Scarface Ni Scarface got mid clip. No, he didn't. Okay. Does it even count if you don't jump? Well, did even though he didn't jump, did he attempt to go for the clip? That's the question. Right? You have to you have to ask yourself one more question before I can answer your question. Did he attempt the clip? Yes, he did. So it definitely does count, even though he doesn't jump. He attempted it, but he didn't get the jump. All right, Scarface here. He doesn't have any stars. Looks like his inventory might be good, but we'll get a good chance. What's the matter, Jarsa? You don't think that that should count as a as an attempt? The gap doesn't need the input. The gap means that they decided to jump when they're over the gap. You gotta jump earlier. You gotta jump earlier and go for the light. You gotta go for the light tap. You gotta practice it, guys. You gotta practice the mid clip. You practice it, you, you most likely won't have the little gap issue. However, it is, it happens to me too. It happens to everyone. But practice will definitely help you. Alright, Kalem on the airship now. Uh, there is enough power-ups. There is enough power-ups for Kalem to be able to get a mushroom and then a flower back. So we should be in the clear here. At least I'll have a power up. And they're gonna be close calls. I mean, if Scarface Nico gets all three hands, uh, this is gonna be pretty close for him. It's gonna be pretty close for him. We're on double auto scroller, so we, we still have chat open. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, don't be afraid. Uh, points. Points determine the winner. Uh... Was that Rangless? I, I thought I saw the boomerang there. Yeah, I thought I saw the red. The tournament is going fantastic so far. Thank you very much, Tom. I agree. It's going great. A lot of runners have had a couple months to practice. They've only had two weeks to practice the points, but the points aren't everything, right? Sometimes, sometimes deaths, sometimes speed stress. You never know, man. You never know. You got to deal with what you got, right? 
And that's just the way it is. I don't think anyone's played bad this tournament. I just think unfortunate things have happened to some where others has not. Some have got good RNG, some have got bad RNG, some have played well, some have played bad. You know, it's just, it's just the way it goes. All the people in the tournament know how games work and KLM almost- Whoa! Whoa! Damn! Right on. It is now time. It is now time. Let's see what kind of hand situation he's got himself in. Let's see what he's got. What? Two in a row? He got no hands two times in a row, both his races. What? What? That was supposed to be meant, that was meant for Teeks, man. Teeks, if you would have got no hands in your run, would that have meant that you won? Would you have won? I I, I can't remember. Alright. So it looks like Nico might not he might not make the 60. I think he will. I think those the no hands there guaranteed not getting punished. And it looks like he killed no wrenches. So it looks like he's gonna get the no Rocky kill. Twelve points good. Twelve points is very comfortable. Alright, here we go. Oh, I think he's gonna use a P-Wing and go and get these lives. No! 14, 15, 16, 17, and then 18. He could have got wow. Alright, KLM. KLM is breaking even with the zero points right now, although he needs to get Wranglers here. Come on. Oh, so close, dude. So close. I don't think Nico's gonna use that music box. That would be a very, very bad idea. Oh, and he gets Sticky Hill again. Gets the sun kill, though. And it looks like he's got no two same items touching. If he uses that music box, I'll be very disappointed in him because that'll be a two point loss right there. All right, he's out of there. He's gonna use a star here, very nice. Good work with this fortress. Oh, KLM taking damage there. I don't think KLM can get this in under an hour anyways, so you have to finish the run to get the no damage point. You have to finish the run to get the no lives point or the 20 lives point. So we'll see how this goes right here at the end. Oh, it does not get first cycle. That is huge. That is really bad for Scarface. That might actually throw him right in the under or over one hour range, man. That is not what you want to see here. But what we do want to see is KLM get all three hands and then get no rocket. And then I think he's in a pretty good situation. This is intense right here, man. This is intense. KLM getting the first hand. Get that leaf, which is good. Uh, so, what? Somehow the boomerang didn't die. The hammer brother didn't die, and then he got hit with the hammer anyways. Like, what? Ah, man. He just needed to get pulled in by those hands, clutching some points. Damn, 
hand. He needed that no three hands. But I have to say, I am very proud of both runners today, even though Scar Scarface got a really bad death in game one and getting punished with over the hour and Caleb having a very, very unfortunate game two. But he clutched it out. He he powered through it, man. He, was, he seems like he's being a very good sport about it. He's not quitting. You know, I don't see any rage quits. And to me, you know what? That's a win right there. So, I'd love to see these two runners clutching it out, man. Very happy with the way these races turned out. All right, Scarface. He has the chance, man. He's got to go fast, though. He's got to go fast. Oh, Kalem killing the Rocky. Unfortunate. All right. So it's all up to Scarface right now. Trying to clutch in these last points. He has not taken damage either. Scarface, I repeat, has not taken damage yet. Oh, never mind. And he's not going to get the kill. Holy crap, man. You've seen it once. You've seen it twice, guys. Wow. You've seen it once, you've seen it twice. I think he's gonna have to take the second place and the no sub 60. Looks like he's gonna have to get the first place but the no sub 60. All right, the run is terminated. Anything that happens from here on out is over. The runners may finish the run, but they do not have to finish the run. <coughs> Absolutely insane. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe... I cannot believe Nico got no hands two times in a row and both lost his hammer suit in Bowser's castle two times in a row. I cannot believe that. Right on. Holy damn.